Okay, let's talk about yesterday's problem here. It says, okay, the second H-shaped polygon is a scaled copy of the first. All right, show one pair of corresponding points and two pairs of corresponding sides in the original polygon and its copy. Uh, consider using colored pencils to highlight corresponding plots or labeling some of the vertices. All right, so I put some labels on here, and then I also put some highlighting. So I got eight point A, B, C, D, E. I got points T, U, and V. Uh, doing with the uh, Google slides, kind of hard to add, add extra letters in there. But with that, I'm able to answer. I can see a uh, pair of corresponding points, A and T, uh, B and U, E and V. I can see corresponding sides. Uh, line segment AB, line segment TU. Line segment AE, line segment TV. Uh, and as you've seen in my, when I've written over to the uh, right here, uh, if we look at AB, one, two, three, four, we see it's four units. Four units. So that's well, four units right there. And if we look at TU, it's one unit. And so we can see a four to one happening here. Uh, we kind of see the four to one as well with where I did my red highlight here. You know, one, two, three, four. So four to one. So we're seeing four to one is kind of like being that scale factor there. Uh, I know some of you guys got a little confused here when you were looking at. Let me get to a different color here. And go green. Uh, and when you were looking at AE which is one, two, three, four, five, and TV. Some of you were looking close enough on that one. That one is more than one, and if we think right here is a half, it's about one and one-fourth, which would correspond uh, with a four to one. But if you think about it, five divided by four is one and one-fourth. So you got to be keeping, keeping that in mind. So when we look at our scale, it's four to one. So bear that one in mind. So that's skill factor there. And again, I put in points. Hopefully this helps uh, with your understanding of the problem that you were given out here.